Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be putting on some makeup with Charlotte Tilbury. This is the rocker chick. This is the palette that I decided to pick out. Very similar to my Headstrong, but this has four colors. Mine has three. We're going to experiment with that and we're going to you know, put on a little leather jacket at the end. We're gonna really do it up. I'm wearing a shirt that says stronger than fear because it's not fearful to add makeup on when you're mature. gonna go right into prepping the skin. I'm gonna use the Fortuna. This is the Micellar Essence. I don't put it on a, I told you before, I put sometimes on a cotton round, sometimes I put it in my hand like this, and I just work it into my skin. This is so nice, it's refreshing. I'm hydrating my skin, and then we'll go right into putting on a serum. Going in with my Quoterly, this is my serum. It's a brightening serum. I've been using this for years and years and years. This is one of their most popular products. I put it into my hand, and then I put it on my face. I just wax my lip, so I will have some redness on my lip area here. And I've told you before, when I wax my lips, sometimes it turns out that I decide to wax more than just my lip and then my chin, and then I get really into the wax. Because as a Greek woman, we know that hair is definitely <laughs> never, never ending. So I'm always trying to get the best hairless look on my face. Serum is on my skin, soaking up, preparing my skin to have a beautiful look when I put on a foundation today that I'm going to be using a little bit different than it's supposed to be used. I'm gonna go just with a little eye cream now from Fortuna. I've been using this for this past month and I love it. And look, it comes with this little spatula and it's magnetic on the top. So you always have your spatula on the top of your product. I mean, how genius is that? So this is perfect. So all I do is I open it up, take my spatula, take a tiny bit out, and then I'm going to use this on my eye area. I just did a partnership with them over on Instagram. I showed you this product last year. It is from a organic farm in Sicily. I love the whole brand story. I love the product and it's not a huge collection. It's a small collection of products and I really love the balm. I've showed you their biphase oil that is just so nice. I use that with my gua sha every morning and now my skin's prepped, but I'm gonna do one more thing real quick. Quoterly, the Beauty Elixir. I'm going to spritz my face. Mmm, just, it just sets the tone for my makeup. We're gonna start off with my eye and lip primer. We need to prime the eyes first, especially working with a darker color. So you can see right now that the eye primer is changing the color of my eyes. I have darkness, I want it to lift that color. It's going to keep my eyeshadow on all day. It's not going to crease or all night. I'm going from the base of my lashes all the way up to my brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Rocker Chick palette. This has four colors. One of them is a more of a glittery sparkly color and you don't have to use it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to be using my essential makeup brush kit. This is a brush kit that is coming back out revised end of June. So we're very excited about the couple of the surprises that we have for you with our new essential makeup brush kit. I've upgraded it a little bit. I've changed a couple of things and I know you're going to be very excited because it is one of our, our number one sellers. So I'm going to just take the shadow brush and I'm going to press it into this color and then I'm going to apply it just to my lid. So you're going to see it has a beautiful sheen. So I'm going to go from the base of my lash and I'm going to just go up right where it creases. I don't want too much. I mean, again, I like to do a wash of color. I like to add on a deeper color, but I don't go overboard. So I go into the middle of the eye, put the concentration on in the middle, and then I will work with what I have on the eyelid so I can make it spread across the whole lid. So you don't have to have too much. And I think that that's what the real hesitation comes when women are older, over 40, 50, 60, 70, and it's like, oh, I could never wear a darker color. Absolutely, you can. It's all about the application technique. So if you're going to do a nice wash of color like this, you can see it's beautiful. It's darker, but it's not overpowering. It's not too much. It's not like, whoa, what did you just do? You have to know how, when you're applying it, you put the most of the first, the dipping into the color, in the center, and then you go to the side. So you're not overpowering, you're not going crazy and then putting it on and then saying, whoa, I can't do this. I want you to get really comfortable with being able to apply a darker color or a smokier color. I mean, why not ladies? Like get outside of your comfort zone. You don't have to stay in the neutral box 
for the rest of your life. I think that's really boring. And I think that makeup should be played with. And I think that if you want to experiment with, you know, the same color palette that you normally have, but you're kind of go, you go a little deeper, or maybe you do a darker eyeliner, experiment and have fun. Because if you're not having fun with makeup, especially over 40, uh, what are you doing? So we have the first color on, we're going to now go into this lighter color, I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm going to just marry the, the two colors together. This is going to be where I can go across. Sometimes I really like to just take the lighter color and blend it throughout the entire lid. Go over what I just put on because you can see it lightens it. It gives it kind of like this really pretty veil of a lighter color. So I don't have any demarcation and I feel that if you feel like, wow, it's too dark when you first do it, then you can just take this lighter color and pull it across the whole lid. So you have a really nice lightness to the eye. I'm gonna go in with the darkest color here. I'm gonna use my smudge brush, which is what I like to call my eraser brush. It's a dense brush, almost like a little oval. And I'm going to use this at the base of my lashes right here. So I'm smoking up this, this eye, but it's really like a little trick to add that darkness around your lash line. And then I will just build it up on the end here. I think that what's really interesting when you're working with different, with darker colors and different colors than you're used to, it's all about how you're applying it and how you are creating a look that is going to be more powerful, but it's not going to be overwhelming. And this is the darkest color. I am, you can see, I'm just putting it to my base of my lashes, which is really a great way to give that look of a liner, but softer. And then I'm going to just take it out. I'm actually just following my lash line and I'm just depositing a little bit here. I'm not doing a big triangle. I'm not trying to overpower the eye. I just want to have a little bit of that darkness pushed into the color that I just put on. So you can see that I have some of this color coming down. And again, I don't have any concealer on foundation. So all I do is I take my all pad and I'm able to just sweep up and make it really nice and crisp. So you don't have to worry if you're like, Oh, you know what? I want to take it out a little bit further and then I'll clean up. You can do that. That's a really great option by not putting on a concealer or a foundation. You have this clean face, clean up, then you go back and perfect your skin. So I finished this eye now. I'm going to go back with my All May pad and I'm going to just clean up on the sides. There's not a lot of fallout with Charlotte Tilbury. So all I'm doing is basically just sweeping up where I had it fall a little bit. So I always like to clean up. So it's just straight up from my bottom of my lash line straight up. So it's basically taking off any of that shadow that's going to drag the eye down. I don't want to, you can see right now, kind of, I have more of a fold here with my, my eyelid. And so basically what I like to do is I want that to be not pulling my eye down. I go back with my all bay pad and I just sweep up and I keep it up. So I'm always trying to keep up the shadow and not have everything dragged down. Again, that's why we line the eyes the way we do. If you have more of a droopy eye, you don't follow it all the way down. You stop a little bit shorter. So it gives the illusion that your eye is not coming down as far as it might be. I'm going to just curl my lashes with the Shuamora eyelash curler, a very important thing to do before you put on your eyeliner, because I don't want to disrupt my eye liner with curling my lashes like this. So I just definitely want my eyelashes up. Then I'm going to go right into a chocolate or dark chocolate. You could do charcoal if you wanted to also. Um, it doesn't, it's, I kind of would use either one. Charcoal would be probably a better pick with this kind of gray look, but dark chocolate is great because it's like an espresso color. I'm going over that line I just created with the eyeshadow, which really makes this like a double impact for you. So you're going to have that double impact eyeliner from doing the shading with the shadow and then going back over it and intensifying it, but you're just at the lash base. So it's a really clean, smoky eye. And this is really wonderful for a mature eye because you're getting that double depth but you're not adding on too much. It's not a big liquid heavy liner. It's not big, thick liner. You're getting that really extra power by doing the shadowing first and then going back with this eyeliner super tight to your lashes. I'll take the eyeliner and I will do three quarters underneath to balance out the eye. This is the greatest part of having the eraser brush, the smudge brush, because you can see if you feel like it's too much underneath the eye, you can go back and smudge. You're going to still have a little bit of that powder on your brush here from when you did it on the top of the eyeliner and you're going to just take it underneath and you're going to get that really pretty smoky look but still diffusing the under eye if you feel that it dropped too low you can just take your all pad that you had before 
and you can just clean up so it doesn't feel like it's too low or too smoky. So this is where the fourth color, that little glitter sparkle comes in. If you want to, if, you, if you're feeling it, I usually just take my finger, I rub it across and I'll just get some of that sheen. And I'll go right in the middle just to pop the eye a little bit more. So it's not over the top, depending on her palette, some of them are more glittery than others, but you can definitely get away with it. You can see it's not too much of a really large particle sparkle glitter, what have you. It's more of a sheen with fairy dust specks. So it looks really pretty, especially if it's at nighttime, you can see it brings the eye alive more so if you add this and if you don't. Going right into mascara, I'm gonna be using Chanel. This is the Lay Volume Noir. So I use the black and I just go to the base of the lashes. I front load, which means I'm basically depositing all of the mascara to the base and then I'm just pulling it straight up. So you can see a beautiful application, not clumpy, not too thick, not too heavy. And then I'll do the other eye. For my brows, I'm going to just take a little brow fix. This is in Coco, and I'm going to just brush this through. It's really wonderful to get the brows to look more groomed, staying up. If you have any gray brows that you need to cover, this does that beautifully. And you can use clear. We have multiple different colors from clear to blonde, to dark brunette. So you have a lot of nice range to be able to get the brows up. If you have those grays, you can cover them very easily. And we're gonna go right into color correcting. You know, this is my favorite, favorite part of my makeup tutorial. Just Peachy is going to go on underneath my eyes and I like to just swipe like this today. You know, I like to call it like my football player swipe because I don't want to get too close to my makeup right now. I'm going to just take my foundation buffing brush or I can take my concealer brush and just work it up so it's more precise. I don't want to get into any of this darkness and start kind of messing up underneath my eye area. So you don't want to always bring the concealer or the color corrector too close to underneath your eye area because then you're going to get that creasing and you're going to really just look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. You want this to melt into the skin. You want it to brighten this under eye area. So I'll bring it just right where it starts to get that nice shading underneath my eye area. And then I'm gonna bring it down, go on the side of my nose, and then work the other side in. So the color corrector is on just peachy. If you feel like you need a little bit more, you can always go back over, like when I have these extra little pigmentation spots. And I'm going to be using a cushion foundation. I asked Shantakai to please send me their cushion foundation. It comes in this beautiful component. And you know, I've been really big into cushion foundations. I love serum foundations. The only thing that I have started to discover using, whether it's the Dior cushion foundation or Shantakai or any of them, is I don't love this sponge. And especially this one in Shantakai, it doesn't feel like I'm actually getting the product into my skin or it's really looking the way I want it to. So so I have basically <laughs> taken that part out and I'm going to just take my foundation buffing brush. This is how I use my cushion foundations. It kind of is not the way that they are designed to be used, but I find that I get a really beautiful application by just sticking my brush into the sponge like this and then working it into my skin. It's like this airbrushed, beautiful, very hard texture to explain because it's so it's so air light and so beautiful. You can see when I'm putting this on and buffing it into the skin, this color is vanilla. So it looks like it really does match my skin really pretty. So you get that, that highlight, you get that dewiness to their skin. I think this is like my new way to kind of negate this whole sponge bacteria situation. I've tried to wash them and they don't wash out. And I just think that I'm better off using a buffing brush because I like the way that it applies, but I can also wash this. So that makes me feel better. I'm not spreading bacteria all over my face because it's a sponge and I'm getting this beautiful, beautiful look to my skin. So this is a beautiful, flawless look. If you want to use the cushion foundation a little bit different, you can still use a sponge. If you like using the sponge, I just feel like buffing this kind of formulation into the skin looks absolutely radiant, beautiful. And I really like the feeling. I'm not going to powder it because I want to have this really illuminized look to my skin. I'm going to go in with something new. This is the NARS. This is a duo. It's called Uninhibited. So it's a blush duo. And I thought this would be really great because it kind of goes along with the theme. I'm going to just take a powder brush and I'm going to, I love to just mix the two like this. I am always mixing colors and getting like a custom color. And I'm going to put it on my cheeks 
and it has this really beautiful radiance to it also, you're still staying in that family of radiance. So I'm going to just do it on both cheeks. I'm gonna go in with the Becca Champagne Pop. This is a cult favorite. This is a highlighter that everybody knows about. They brought it back. Smashbox brought the Becca Champagne Pop back and we know why. We're very happy that they did this too. So this is a beautiful highlighter. A little bit goes a long way, you can see. I just went across the palette like this and then I put it right on the top of my cheekbone and you're getting that really beautiful highlight. So it's just something to add to your face if you want that really beautiful highlight, giving you that extra rocker check kind of vibe. We're gonna pull this all together with our lips, keeping it neutral. I'm going to be using Cameo, which is my favorite lip liner, and I'm gonna go in with a nude lip and I'm going to top it, of course, with a lip gloss. So I'm going to do a nice definition to my lips. Lip liner is on. We're gonna go right in to figure it out, which is a really nice nude. It is high gloss, so you're getting that moisture. It is not a matte. So you have a really pretty, not over the top lip. You're keeping it very neutral, focuses on the eyes. I'm gonna take Embrace, which is a beautiful lip gloss, still in that nude family, just to give an extra little boost to my lips. We have that beautiful gloss. We are ready to put on a little leather jacket. I'm gonna just spray my face last time with my Beauty Elixir. Give me that great look. I'm gonna put the jacket on so you can see the whole look put together. So we have the jacket on, we have the graphic t-shirt on, we have jeans on, and we have a really beautiful look that's just stepping outside the box just a little bit. We're not in the neutral family. Sometimes it really gets boring. I wanted to kind of bring you to the edge of doing something that's just a wash of color using a very easy palette from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Rocker Chick. How much fun is that? You'll have a lot of fun, ladies, experimenting, putting on the wash of color, maybe adding a little bit of the sheen to the top of your lids and just really having fun. This is what makeup's all about. So until my next video, I'll see you later.